Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about how to do the silk screen inside the Cadence PCB tools. So silk screen, the, the eye dents, uh, component reference designators, maybe some outlines of components, etc. We normally have them on a PCB. Um, so normally what happens is you would design a silk screen outline and, and a text location uh, as part of the PCB footprint. That then gets placed on the board. Um, you then track and route and do whatever you need to do, add wires. Um, and then what you need to do is obviously make sure the silk screen is cleared from things like the vias, the holes, because um, it's not good practice when you're fabricating the board. So let's have a look at the silk screen. If we go to the visibility pane, I'm just going to choose the silk screen artwork. So let's go and pick the silk screen artwork. I'm then just going to turn on maybe some some pins and some vias, and we'll turn on the outlines and the cutout. So if we start to zoom in here, we can see we've got a few issues. Maybe the text is a little bit close, too close to the hole. I've certainly got some holes or some wires crossing silk screen lines. So I might want to look at maybe editing some of these. We can do this manually, so I can just invoke the move command, uh, pick the text, uh, reposition the text. I could maybe come along and, um, and edit the vertex on this line, so do a, uh, an edit vertex. Pick the line segment and try and adjust this to suit, but um, that's not ideal either. It's quite a manual process and I don't really want to be spending a lot of time doing that. Um, so let's see if we can get the tools to do it for us. So under the manufacture menu, there's a command called silk screen. And this allows us to effectively take a copy of the default silk screen layers that provide, that we that we design footprints on. Um, so there's a board geometry silk screen layer, there's a package geometry silk screen layer, there's a reference designator silk, which is obviously the, the placeholders for the text, so all our reference designators. Um, and it will use these layers effectively and then copy those to a new subclass called manufacturing auto silk top or auto silk bottom. And then we can then use that as the film. And, and it will take um, the, the settings that we have in this form to drive that, that new layer that we're going to generate. So um, I'm just going to do the top of the board in this example, but you can do the bottom or both. You choose the, the subclasses and classes that you want to use. What's the minimum line length? Um, so maybe drop this down to maybe 0.5. Um, element to pad clearance. So I want a bit of clearance from a from a pad, 0.1 of a millimeter. I want to use both text and lines, but you can restrict it to just text or lines. I want to restrict the text rotation that it places, so only in noughts and nineties. I don't want to allow text under components. Uh, I want to clear solder mask pads. So we'll click OK. So we can effectively then run the audit and the audit would then show us a report file of all the, the edits that we need to make. Or we can we just go ahead and run the silk screen command, which will do that. Um, once it's run, then we need to look at the colour. So if I go to setup and colours, we'll just turn everything off for now. If we then go to the manufacturing, there's now this new auto silk subclass. So let's turn it on. Maybe just make it yellow so it's slightly easier to see. We'll click OK. And you can see, obviously, it started. You can see the edits already if I cut these back. So if I actually just show, let's turn on the board geometry and the cutout layer, and we'll turn on the top uh, vias and pins, you can see that it's physically cut back these, these, these outline shapes from where the vias are. It's moved some text, it's maybe changed some rotation. So it's done on my silk screen for me. Um, so I'm happy just to process this straight away. So what I could then do is if I look under the, the export Gerber. Um, for my silk screen top at the moment, I'm using these different subclasses. So ref ref silk screen top, package geometry silk screen top, board geometry silk screen top. So I'm just going to click in here and say add. We'll go to the manufacture auto silk top. Click OK, and then I'm just going to cut these other ones away. So cut that, cut that, and cut that, and that I could then use that for my silk screen uh, Gerber film, and I'd be all right going forward.